So hey everybody, I'm just down here at 555 Monroe Northwest in downtown Grand Rapids. We're going to look at the Winter Arts Festival, uh, some art installations down here. There goes the Dash North, headed south, ironically. All right, let's go look at uh, this big butterfly thing and this light maze. to the south now. Just past that uh, medical building that's going in here. Part of Michigan State University's uh, expansion here in Grand Rapids. We're just crossing Atwater Brewing here on the right hand side. This is actually a great building. Let's
us about 40 minutes to walk down here, so. They have too much of a plan. I uh, probably just walk until the camera battery dies. Feed your meters and, you know, park in front of real live meters, guys. We're just here at the Gillette Bridge. There's uh, one more piece of art installed. I want to take a look at. Obviously, some of these will be more interesting looking at night. We'll try to get around to coming out and seeing them at night. I believe this is one that was out for uh, Art Prize as well. I just didn't uh, bother with it because there was too many people. So we'll see. If Well, that kind of worked, kind of didn't. There goes another Dash bus. I believe that's Dash West headed to the east. That's the free bus system that runs around downtown Grand Rapids between the commuter lots. Well, look at that. The snow has started. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera yet or not. Luckily we have the snow cover. I don't know if I have the clips for it. I can always pack the camera away though if it gets too... It's a wet snow that's really bad for the camera. In my opinion. It's the lens I'm worried about. So here's our last Winter Art Fest installation. Just over here by the Gerald R. Ford. Presidential Museum. I had to run that one out. I almost slid down the hill. to the sign first. This is the Grand River. So you can make him look like he's devouring uh, Bridgewater Place. There we go. I've zoomed in a little. Oops.
seeing these make noises. Yep. It's a little odd, but amusing. <clears throat> Stop over and say hello to the giant button. This is an, a sculpture and also a uh, large children's play toy. Let's see if we can even fit. Especially with the camera and all this gear on me. Oh, I don't know if I can. I just barely fit through with it. <sighs> but yeah, these buttons are hollow. I'm standing in one right now. I'll show you from the other side. Like I said, it's a children's play toy, not an adult play toy. Old people, like me, not exactly, <laughs> have nearly as much fun. And that's the giant button. the Bridge Street Bridge. Turns into Michigan Medical Mile, just further to the east. We're technically on Grand Rapids' west side here. Hopefully we're in focus. So we've made this walk before. I think I'll probably put a link to it in the description during summer. If you're looking for a warmer version of this walk.
just passing New Holland Brewing Company here on the right, which we can't see very well. We're on the same side as it. Jolly Pumpkin on the other side of the street. Passing Anchor Bar here. This is uh, one of the few remaining original buildings in this section. Most of it's been replaced by these condo mixed use developments. Bridge Street Fire Station here also on Bridge Street on the west side. Kale's Corners, another building that's been here for a while. And uh, this used to be an independent uh, soda syrup distributor. Um, I think it became a restaurant, and um, it looks like it's vacant again, unfortunately. So everybody, my battery is starting to freeze and cut in and out. So we're going to end this one here on Grand Rapids' west side, because I see a picnic table nearby I can use to uh, break the camera down. So I hope you guys enjoyed that walk of Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you in the next one.